Episode 2 of our video journals takes us to Vancouver Island and up to Campbell River, where we are going to go bear watching. It's uh, late in September, and the bears are going after salmon. So we head out with a company called Discovery Marine Safaris, and uh, they were kind enough to take us to the Butte Inlet to watch bears on, uh, on this really sweet boat, the Tenacious 3. The trip between Vancouver Island and the mainland up to Butte Inlet, there was an experienced and certified guide on board um, to tell us about uh, what we were about to see and to interpret things along the way. And it was a bit of a trip, uh, it took um, over two hours to get in there, but it was such an incredible trip. We saw um, sea lions. And in this particular spot, uh, they told us that when the currents mix together and all these little fish get pushed up and the seagulls just go crazy. And here we got so lucky. Um, Doll's porpoise came up and did some bow riding on the boat. And uh, it doesn't happen very often, but if it does, it's an incredible experience. Once we get to Butte Inlet, we pull in to the Homolco Nations land. This is native land. So from here we get guided by the Hamalco people and they take you uh, to lookout points in buses so it's quite safe. And the lookout points are situated on the river. Now here we get our first sighting. It's a mom grizzly with two cubs. Uh, they're walking fairly cautiously because Grizzlies are tolerating each other here, but they're not really social creatures, and uh, the cubs could be in danger from male grizzlies, so um, everybody's keeping a pretty good eye out. And the photography opportunities are great. Here comes another grizzly, a big male. Uh, luckily, the, the female and the cubs are gone. I think they were probably smart enough and caught wind of him, so decided to move to another location. He's looking for fish. Nobody's moving too fast. Well, the salmon don't make themselves too easy to find at this point. The river's not quite full. Uh, it's not full spawn yet, so. Now they do this thing where they walk around in the water, which is pretty, pretty cool to watch. So here he is walking up a log and you know, he'll look in cracks and look into rocks and you know, wherever he can find fish, he's going to look. And it was really incredible um, to be able to see this, you know, as close as we were. And you can see right here these two salmon are swimming away in the water. They, uh, they don't want to be eaten, I guess. Now, this is uh, another lookout point, and it's just upriver where three rivers meet, and it's supposed to be a really good place to see bears. And it certainly was. Here's yet another male grizzly. Totally different bear. And uh, he's, he's looking for fish. And he spots one. And this is really cool. I mean, don't ask me how he did that, but he just he saw a fish and he dove right in there and, and got it. And uh, so there's his lunch for the afternoon. Now, again, another mother with uh, a single cub. Uh, different bear, single cub. I mean, we saw so many bears on this one trip. It was amazing. I think it even surprised uh, the guides that we were with. And yet another male. This is another male. Um, he kind of walks along the river where the last fish was caught, but there's nothing left of it at this point. So he smells it, but uh, he's not going to be able to eat that. I would have to say that was one of the best bear watching experiences I've ever had. 